The first of a new generation of wind tunnels has come online this week at McLaren's Technology Center. But what does this mean for the team? McLaren haven't had their own wind tunnel for Formula One development since 2010, when they switched to renting Toyotas in Germany, but they've been changing this and have now created their own state-of-the-art wind tunnel that came online this week for their F1 car development. A wind tunnel is a huge part of aerodynamic testing in F1, and a team having their own can be a big advantage as it means they don't need to spend time and money shipping parts to other manufacturers for testing. Because of this, Zach Brown has said that McLaren can redirect some of that inefficient spend into additional headcount, which is exactly what they've done in hiring new personnel like Red Bull's Rob Marshall as part of Andrea Stella's technical restructuring. Thanks to F1 cars getting bigger with time, McLaren never used to be able to run a 60% model in their wind tunnel without feeling the impact of the tunnel's walls on the airflow around the car. By building their own modern wind tunnel that takes this into account, they can now fully replicate an on-track experience and more closely simulate cornering, which will help them create more effective upgrades. McLaren's wind tunnel is the first of a new generation of wind tunnels to come online as other teams like Aston Martin and Red Bull also work on on their own modern ones. While they're the first to get theirs online, the full effects of this won't be felt until 2024 as the 2023 car won't go into the wind tunnel. Coupled with their new simulators, new composites facility and upgrades to their machine shop, this investment in equipment likely means McLaren's upturn in performance isn't going to stop anytime soon. Do you think McLaren can use this equipment to help them fight at the top next year? Let us know in the comments, like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to Apex for more deep dives into the F1 world.